Sure one to take losing the goal right at the end, but a performance to be proud of, I guess. Aye, aye. Yeah, I mean, the boys are gutted in there, you know, but um, we've got to take positives, you know, and I'm I'm really gutted, you know, outwardly I might not show that, you know, but uh, I'm just so proud of the players today for the back, from goalkeeper right up to the top to every player that came on the park and to the subs as well. We were all there, you know, we showed a real togetherness. Um, I'm sure the fans recognised that, you know, I certainly did. And, you know, it's... So many positives to take for today. You know, I'm not going to get bogged down and the, the goal that we lost, it's a bad goal. Every goal you lose is preventable. And we'll look at it, we'll dissect it and, and you know, and we'll, we'll strive to get better. And the players are disappointed, so they'll strive to get better. I know that. You know, I'm, I'm learning more about them every week, every session, every game. And I'm, I'm proud to be, you know, in this position that I've got such a, a good bunch of lads and honest lads behind me. And, and great to build on, on last week's win against Berwick with such a positive performance. Aye, you know, that, listen, this, this is a hard place to come, you know, we've, we've came to Clyde and, you know, Clyde are, they're, they're definitely a team that's going to be pushing come the business end of the season, you know, where that is or where that may be, then that will materialise, but this is, we must strive to match the teams at the top end of the table, you know, we've got another very difficult game next week and that's where my thoughts and mind are very much on, you know, I've, I've just, I can let the players sort of mull over what's been a you know, a, a good day all in, but they'll be disappointed. But for me now, it's about the the bigger picture and moving on. And again, another building block. But we must keep building. We must keep striving for points, striving for performances, and demanding out each other. And you limited a, a good Clyde team to very few chances. We did, but you know what they did. What Clyde did have was a lot of ascendancy today in terms of zones. You know, they were probably in our final third a lot more than we were in theirs. But you know, this is very we're very much a team in transition, you know, and that's not an excuse. It's not an excuse, don't misunderstand that. It's um it's a realisation of where we're at, you know, you know, players adapting to new ideas and, you know, trying to learn in such such a short space of time. But listen, we we've got players there that are committed and they're showing that they're believing in what they've been told. So as I said, once again, fantastic performance, gritty, um, hearty, and everything that I want my team to be. Now it's about the quality. Can we add that touch of quality? Looked like we'd taken the lead in the first half. What was your view of Danny Jordan's disallowed goal? It's a good goal for me. Uh, I would have to see it again. I didn't see any infringement. I think the referee's given a foul against Dylan Mackin, from understanding of it. Um, but I, I, I just didn't see anything. What I would say is it was a fantastic goal. Uh, good enough to sort of grace any game. It was good play, fantastic ball in, and you know, young Danny. Like, like the goal he did score that counted showed an unbelievable desire to get above defenders big strong defenders you know and he's put his body on the line there and he's, he should have got his just rewards but you know another fantastic performance from him but collectively as a team you know tremendous from everyone and I guess despite the late goal that there'll be a confidence building in the team that a win last week good point today that when you go to Annan next week you can keep this going you know we're, we're going down there again to play a team that's flying you know, and they're a good, good squad of players, you know, and they're led very well by a very intelligent and forward-thinking management team, you know, so, and I know enough about them. Um, so I know the problems they're going to cause, but listen, I've got huge belief in what I've got here, you know, and we will, we will sort of, we'll train Tuesday, Thursday with the name, you know, to what I think maybe Aaron might bring to that game, how they'll look to target us, and hopefully the boys will take on board like they have done so far with each game what we're giving them and from that hopefully I'll be sitting speaking to you guys with another positive performance and maybe even a more positive result. How's Kevin Moon who didn't play in Dylan Mackin who has to come off? D Dylan's an impact injury as you've seen it's a 50-50 tackle, um, no problem with the tackle uh, just to clear that up it's big Kevin Nicol is as honest as they come Dylan's went in and you know Kevin both went in hard Dylan's come off second best in that instance but um, we'll see, we'll assess Dylan um, in terms of uh, Kevin Munitz, that ongoing problem that he's had, you know, with with his body. So we'll, again, we'll just assess Kevin and, you know, hopefully we'll have another, we'll have him back, which means I'm even further for the bench. But, <laughs> but aye, no, the more we get fit, the better. But great to have Peter McDonald back on the bench here, getting a wee run out at the end, and obviously Darren Barry as well back in goal.